welcome back to the channel i am making this pack with me video as you can see from the title because we are going on the carnival celebration for my birthday it's going to be a seven or eight day cruise i can't remember it's from april 9th through the 16th so look out for those videos so i decided to do a thorough pack with me video because there's some first time cruisers that's going to be going with us and um i'm trying to get my family to fall in love with cruising as much as i am so i'm going to make a very thorough thorough video i'm going to show you guys everything i'm a bit I'm not going to say I'm an overpacker, but when it comes to like medications and stuff, I like to carry everything so that no one don't have to be running down to their medical center if they get a cut, scrape or anything. Like I like to make sure I have everything so that we can be comfortable not paying no 10 or $15 for a pack of Advil or Motrin or something like that because they overcharge you on the cruise for all those things. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the medication bag because I think that's the most, I'm not going to say I carry too much, but that's the most things that I have on here. So let's get started. So in this bag here, I have everything from gauze, band-aids, bandages, hospital tape. I even have Tecaderm in here, okay? So um, yeah, if you have a burn, scrape, scratch, or bruise, I got you covered. Then I have lidocaine patches because, um, you know, some of us, me, like to drop it like it's warm and if just in case you know my knees or anything go bad you know i got biofreeze i got lidocaine patches you know so yeah they ain't gonna stop me and in this bag here i have everything that you could think of for the flu i have emergencies i have alpha cells for cold and flu i have theraflu i have alpha cells for high over relief i'm not planning on getting too drunk because i kind of want to remember my birthday but I have everything here. And in this bag, I have like um, vitamin C candies. I have a lot of lozenges in here. And I have pulse. So I'm going to pack that in here. I also have um, liquid Tylenol for adults because I don't take pills that much. So I like to carry that. And I have anti diarrhea medications. And I have hydrocortisone cream. The small packs that I could give out and the tube. I have Orojo just in case you have a toothache or something. And I also have a tooth repair kit. So, yeah, I think it's in that bag over there. Neosporin. I also have alcohol pads. And I have motion sickness pills and patches. I don't get seasickness, but just in case anyone does, I have that. And I have eye drops and ear drops just in case you need it, it's here. And I also have a pulse socks and thermometer. I have this concussion here because it's like Pepsid with prednisone and Benadryl. So what happens is when you go to the doctor and you have like a really bad allergic reaction, I've been noticing because a lot of my family members, they have been, they have bad allergies. So when you go to the hospital, that's what they give you. They give you the prednisone, the Benadryl, and the Pepsid to help you with that. So I have that here. And also, I have children's Motrin. And see, I'm trying to keep everything in this bag because, honey, after I pack this bag, I am not repacking it. And let me zip this up like this because everything usually fits. And I have ibuprofen 800, don't leave home without it. I also have antibiotics just in case, you know, the doctor gives it to me just in case because anything can happen. I have hand sanitizers everywhere. And if you get a sprain or something, I have that too. The tried and true Vicks. And I also have these two pill packs. And I'm going to go into a little bit of details with this because I got these from the dollar store and I usually carry these with me when we're in port and we're going on like excursions or something. I have my labeler somewhere here, but I love that labeler because what I did was I labeled all of my medications, um, my pill packs. This one has hydrochlorothiazide. It has Motrin. I can't see, sorry. Um, Advil colon sinus allergies. It has Catorolac, which is Toradol. It has Gasex and 
Advil 200. That's the regular Advil. Then this one, I have some Pepsid in here. I have some Percocet. Um, forgot I had that. I have adult Benadryl. I have adult Tylenol. Um, this is the pill form. And I have Propanol, which is for like anxiety, but I don't really take that. So this is my medication bag. So this is done. And trust me, I am not going back in this bag. So this bag is done. Okay, so now I'm going to pack my toiletries. So I have two bags here that I use for my toiletries. I have one for over the door. And this one here, I'm going to start with this only because it's like an extra, like whatever I couldn't fit in my medication bag, I put in here. But going with the medications, I have off wipes that I carry and port with me. And I also have the spray. I also have some laxative, you know, you never know. Last time we needed it when we were in Aruba for someone and we did not have any. So I decided this time I was not going to forget that. Um... Makeup wipes, I'm gonna put that in here. I should put it in my makeup bag, but I'm not gonna do that. I have in this bag already, I see from the last screws, um, little packets of hand sanitizer, my shower cap and a scrunchie. That's in the side. Then I have my body sprays. That's one, then I have the lotion, the lotion for the whole family. I'm gonna put that in there. Then more body sprays and cologne. And I just got this Valentino one. I want to carry that with me. I have all my scented lotions. I'm going to put that in here. And what else can I put in here? I'm going to put my jam in here. See? Labeled. And my cat scarves. I'm going to put those in here as well. So, um, I have the silk ones. I just have a different variety because I'm not 100% sure what I'm doing to my hair yet. Pretty sure I'm going to put in a ponytail, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I have those here. Then I have my Edge Control Got To Be Glue Invisible Gel. And I think that's it for this bag. And I'm going to close this one up. Then this bag here is my best friend. It goes with me everywhere that I go on every cruise, okay? It's my over-the-door toiletry bag, okay? You hang this over the door, and you don't have to take anything out. It's just, I, I just love it. So, so far, I have in here, in the top, I have our toothbrush. I have a small manicure set that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I don't know if you could see that. Then I have floss and I also have a razor in here. So that's the top. And if I could get it closed, that would be great. Then at the bottom, I have um, hair ties, safety pins, hair pins. Like I just, you know, I like better to be safe than sorry. And I'm going to put all our combs. I have our comb brush and beard pick i'm gonna put those down here hoping that they can fit i think they do i think this is the only one that i had a problem with the last time so i might put this in my bag here because it fits good in here yep it's better in there and now aloe just in case we need it and I'm going to put my deodorant in here. So both of our deodorants I'm going to put down here. And it has these little pockets that you can actually put these, put them in so that they don't move around. But I don't usually use them. And this is why, because it's really hard to get them in. And body wash. Put that here too. Those are body wash. Put those in here. And see? They all fit right there. Then the baby powder. I think I'm going to stick this. I'm not 100% sure where I'm sticking this, but I'll let you know. Listerine. I'm putting that here. Then oil sheen. This one is wig shine, and this is regular oil sheen. And 
the toothpaste. Oh, and I also have a regular toothpaste here. So I'm going to put those all right here. Shampoo and conditioner, labeled again. I mean, I'm not planning on washing my hair, but, you know, just in case the wig ain't wigging no more. I'm going to carry this just in case I want to wash my hair. Tie to go pen. Don't leave home without it. And this is holding spray. I'm going to put these along with this cologne. I'm going to put this in here. And the powder, I'm going to put it, baby powder, I put it right there. And Dettol. Anyone from the Caribbean, y'all know, don't leave home without your Dettol. And this is my face soap. So I'm going to put that in here as well. And poopery. I don't have to tell y'all about this, but this thing is the best thing in the world, okay? So, my Andy ointment. I have the small packs, but I think I'm going to carry this one as well. So I'm going to put that in my medications bag and it fits. Okay, and my perfume. I love perfume. Anybody that knows me knows that I love perfume. And I have a whole lot, but these, I carry samples of my perfumes with me so that when I am going on trips, I can change it up, switch it up a little bit. So even though I have my body sprays, I still have my samples and I never run out, never ran out before. So that's that. And look, it's time to close it up. Let's see if it closes. It usually does because this thing, like I said, it's just really, really good. And it just holds so much. I love this thing. Look at that. See? Close that. And it is ready to go. Now for the next items that I carry. This is my sunglasses. I have five pairs of sunglasses for myself that I always like to carry. I like to switch them up sometimes, you know. I don't like to put the Gucci ones in here because I'm afraid that they're going to get bent up. But if nothing happened, I might just take this out and wear it on the cruise. I'm not 100% sure. But all my sunglasses, they fit. And you just close it up like this. You know, I think it's the Chloe ones that always give me a hard time. So let's see here. Yep. It fits. And I closed up. And look. You can stick this anywhere in your suitcase. I'm not sure if we're going to carry the backpack or what, but that, it goes anywhere. The next thing that I'm going to show you guys, I'm almost done, is my electronics bag. So, let me move these over a little bit. For the electronics bag, I have this organizer that I got from Amazon. This holds all our chargers in it. See, there's one pack, two packs. It holds all our chargers in it and that's for the phone chargers so i put it here in my electronics case i also have this it's for like extra plugs and extra usbs i'm not sure that we're going to need it because i heard that on the carnival celebration that you don't need anything extra because they have like a lot of um usb ports on there but i not i don't know i'm just gonna carry it and this is our gopro that i'm carrying and the accessories for the gopro all the batteries um this is a portable charger that we're carrying our selfie stick and our tripod i just have everything in here in the electronics bag and this is packed and i'm gonna close it up because like I said, I'm not going back in these things again. That's done. And this is, let me get this here. This is what I'm going to be using for my makeup bag. Because I think it can hold everything. So I'm going to go for it real quick. In this bag here, I have all my makeup brushes, my mascara, concealer. All that stuff is in here so I'm gonna fit that in here then I have my um my foundation I'm not gonna carry a powder no I'm just gonna carry this one because this one it goes on liquid but it turns like into a mat and then um, I also have my 
highlighters and blush just in case um i don't really want to wear too much makeup but you know for dinner time at night i have all my liners and stuff for my eyebrows in here and a variety of lipsticks so i can't leave home without my ruby moon so i have that and i have this one oh my gosh this is the best oh my gosh it just goes on i don't know i just love this lipstick so i don't I don't know. I carry it on every cruise that I go on. I can't read it, so I can't tell you the name of it. Um, oh, child, don't get me to lie. It's Dior, and it's Dior 760. I can't see the name at the top. It's I think it says Rogue Dior, but I just love it. Love, love, love this lipstick. So there you go. My makeup bag is packed. And that's my travel makeup bag. So my travel makeup, I don't use this makeup at home. I just use it for traveling because I try to take a lot of trips. Like last year we did seven cruises and a land, um, a road trip. So we took eight trips last year. And I'm not exactly sure how much we're gonna take this year, but I just wanted to document um, everything that I used to pack for the cruise. Because like I said, we live in Florida. And I can do a little overpacking because we're driving in port. So we don't have to weigh our luggage or anything like that. So I could actually carry an extra suitcase if I want to. And I think that's what I might do because I might need it. So this is the end of the first video. And the reason why I decided to split this up into two parts is because I haven't gone through our closes yet. I know I should. So the next video is going to be coming out soon. I'm not 100% sure how soon, but I haven't gone through our bathing suits, our clothes. You don't want to see it. Um, I haven't gone through any of that stuff yet. Let's just say that. So I'm going to try to get that done this week. But this is just to give you an idea of the things that I'm packing. Like, I want to make sure that I have everything for our family. If you know, I don't want anyone running down to the medical center. I want to make sure that I have everything taken care of. And I like to carry my electronics because I like to capture every moment. That's the reason why I started this channel was to capture every moment. So I'm, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Look out for part two. And like I said, um, yeah, I'm a little bit of an overpacker. So bear with me. And thanks for watching. And until next time. Cheers to new memories. Bye. Mm -hmm.